We're all on a journey to finding ourselves. And in that journey, we go through ups, we go through downs, and all those stages are what create what we are. One, two, three. I am a mother, a wife, grandmother. I am loud, I am wild. I'm kind of like a deep girl. I like to get real. I have two modes in my style, more monochrome and subdued and unicorn throw up. This is my unicorn throw up. <laughs> some days I'm super chill. There's some days I am the life of the party. I didn't always have confidence. You know, I was kind of shy, but I think the more you get out of your comfort zone, you become more confident. Starting to model did teach me to use what I have going for me. And I learned that being tall was actually really good because I got bullied for that a lot in high school. I struggled with relationship with food and relationship with my body. Being a model in New York City, you're constantly comparing yourself. And so I kind of said enough was enough. I wanted to learn how to eat and how to nourish my body. We love a strong girl. When you feel good, you look good the strong women that we surround ourselves with, like that makes us all radiate. I grew up in a single mother environment and also my grandmother was a single mother and I did not know or understood how difficult that was. Like the inner strength that they have. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Oh yeah, I didn't want to be the one to cry in the interview, wow. You know, I'm at that stage now where I'm not gonna put on a facade I was coloring my hair for over 20 something years. When I finally decided, you know what, enough is enough. One day I just decided that's it, cold turkey, I'm going gray. If men can do it, I could do it and I'm gonna rock it. It made me so much more confident, like I can do anything. I'm gonna start putting the word out there and let women know, hey, it's okay to be gray and you can still look great. You can still look fabulous and sexy. Only the moment is like just embracing all the steps that it took for me to get where I am. Like just owning even like little things about my culture, right? The way that we cook, owning the way that we dress, owning the way that we handle situations, owning what it is to be a woman, just owning this life, you know? Like what are you here to do? Be yourself because it's your authentic self that will make the difference in the world. It's not your face. Faces change, <laughs> right? At 51 is when I started really seeing things differently. You have a voice, and just because you're a certain age doesn't mean that you're over the hill. Life is more beautiful now because I'm feeling it. This is the map of my life. All those hard years leading up to this have made me what I am. I am me. And I am me. I am me. I am me. I am me. And I am me. I am me. I am me. There's nothing that's more beautiful when it comes to a woman or a man when they're just living in their truth. And that makes a person so beautiful.